Well, first impressions of the full self-driving, like you can see the screen looks quite a bit different. Like normally your car is more zoomed in, it's literally just the road. You can kind of see a lane, it's not colored yellow like that. But uh, this actually looks pretty sweet here. I'm going to switch into navigation mode here right away, just so I can do a demonstration of what that actually looks like. And so now the car is actually merging onto Deerfoot. It's cool the blind spot camera actually comes up too. Uh, I do have my hand on the wheel just because we don't know how this is yet. The loss of the lane coming here. If it didn't signal, that's that's kind of proper. You, sh you should signal when the lane stops, obviously. I'm curious what it's going to do when we have to get all the way over a few lanes here. Well, it's turning the signal on. I'm going to get over one more. It, it turns it on plenty of notice in advance, which is kind of cool. Splits the fork, goes down the correct side on the left there. Plenty of notice of the signal light. Once again, have to keep your hand on the wheel, otherwise it'll disengage the autopilot. But you can see the trajectory. Honestly, I just put in, uh, I put in Cranston. It's a decent distance from where I'm going. That's uh, It's going directly down here, foot. There's an 80 sign there that just slows down from 100, so I'm kind of curious to see if the car is actually going to slow down. Oh, well, there we go. It's relatively abrupt. That was almost a little bit of a phantom break, actually. It wasn't slowing down because the sign had just kind of slowed down. Maintaining speed for traffic flow, keeping its following distance. That makes sense. That's safe. It's probably going to hit the brakes now because that guy just came in front of me. Yeah, that's normal. It's maxing me out at 90 kilometers. It's just letting me go 10 over what the last posted speed limit was, I guess. I'm sure you can change out the settings. I just honestly wasn't paying too much attention. There's another 100 side coming up now, so the speed should increase once again from there. That is kind of annoying that I can't use the... That's just the volume. Oh, never mind, I'm just dumb. There we go. Get going up to 105. It speeds up a lot more quickly than regular autopilot too, like the one that just comes with the car. Like normally to get up to there it would take, you know, a good 10 seconds, maybe even 15. Truthfully, I'm, it's kind of strange to me how it hasn't started beeping more. Like, like my hands definitely disengaged with the wheel now more than when it's just the regular autopilot. The regular autopilot that comes with the car. I can only assume by that point it means either my glasses are reflecting from a camera up in there, or I'm, I don't really know. It's the only thing I can really think of, to be honest. It signaled me over quite a bit early to my exit, so I guess I guess that's good too. Like I'm not sure where some of you guys are from, but at least in my city here, people are the absolute worst for that. Like people signal at the eleventh hour to get in and slow down traffic by like 30, 40 kilometers an hour, like it's ridiculous. Obviously with how the roads are right now, it's a holiday Easter, so they're really not that bad. But normally at this time there'd be quite a bit more traffic down this way. But either way, I guess the point I was trying to get at is that it signals over to the lane you need much sooner than when you actually need it. Oh, that's interesting. It signaled me around those people, I'm not, I'm not too sure why. And then it slowed down there because that vehicle in front of me wasn't fully over into her lane there. Which also makes sense. I feel like a lot of just... I understand we've only been using this for about 10 minutes now, but I feel like a lot of people's complaints about autopilot is simply because they're not driving how you're technically supposed to be, which is more defensively. It seems like autopilot's very defensive. Like, it's even highlighting that lane there because I know it needs to get over. So, I was at 105 there, which is 5 over, and then the rest of these people were doing about 100, which is the speed limit. So that's probably why I went around the lane again once it was already in this lane. To was to maintain the speed that I set it at. Very cool. Signaling to get over once again. My exit lane. Now the really fun part is gonna be uh, gonna be when it snows here in a couple of days. I, I really want to test this in the snow because uh, previously just a regular autopilot, it was it did surprisingly well. It did surprisingly well in the winter. So the lanes are kind of wiped out here. Oh, I did manage to stay in the lane. Oh, make sure my camera's still playing, I guess. <laughs> I 
think I just have to squeeze it. It's fine, really. I wonder where this is going to take me exactly. I guess I'll find out. Probably the windmill. See, is that? That sun glare is pretty nasty. I can't really check the camera right now to see how it is on there, but, uh, like on my phone. But I'm hoping it's not too bad for the autopilot. Signal much more in advance. That's good. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, it's getting a bit confused here on which lane to go in, it looked like. And it looked like it almost went to the far left, but it didn't. It's slowing down a bit quicker than it probably has to. That's interesting. Yeah, it, it didn't have to brake that hard to begin with. Um, I mean, it did, obviously. So you can see the red lights on the screen there. It's recognizing the green lights about to make my turn on here. It's rather slow, but... I mean, keep in mind, this is a this is full self-driving vehicle right here. Like, that's that's pretty cool. It gets up to speed relatively quickly, it seems. Once again, it breaks, it breaks a bit sooner than you really need to. Um, I can only assume that's for safety reasons. Like, to me, that doesn't seem like a defensive driving thing. That seems more like an error thing. Like, this guy's just going to come cut me off now. Eh, that's okay. He's more in a hurry than I am, I guess. And it didn't slam on the brakes that much, which is nice too. Like a regular, the regular autopilot definitely would have done that. It's signaling me over. I really have no clue where this is taking me. 60, come on, speed up. Um, I see that it said 40. It, it's seen a 40 sign somewhere, truthfully I didn't see that, but it is 60 down here. It didn't see the 60 increase. We got an intersection here with a stop sign coming up, so this will be interesting. It's not signaling. Oh, there we go. So it stopped. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going. Slowly. There we go. It, it could. It, it, it could have seen the pedestrians off to the off to the right there. I, that was a bit more of a stop than it needed to be. I, honestly, I was about to go. I didn't want to tick the guy off behind me. You know, these people are just getting home from work. I, it, 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 it gets annoying. It's just taking me to a random place in Cranston, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Slowing down a bit. The signal's on. Now, is it going to get over so the guy behind me can pass? That's kind of sweet. It gets over enough to the right where the guy behind me can actually pass through me on the left there. The turn could have been a bit cleaner, I feel. Now turn left onto Cranfield Green Southeast. Honestly, I kind of thought this thing was going to take me to the windmill. Um, anyways, they're, they're a nice, decently clean turn there. Yeah, I think that guy behind me was a bit PO'd. Oh, well, whatever. We're in a residential area now, so... I also just realized I kept my hand off the wheel to like the last, I don't know. This is cool. This is very cool. There's no cars coming around the corner here. It does a nice slow turn so that you can see that. I don't want to pull into this guy's driveway by accident, so I'm going to, I'm going to take it off that for a sec here. But that's, uh, that was full self-driving. That is, that is very cool. That's, uh. It's a bit better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, it's more defensive driving. Now, realistically, if anyone's taken any sort of driver training, then you should know that technically that's how everybody should be driving. We're just all aggressive. We really are. Um, but yeah, very cool. I'll do another one here. I'll